Washington lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. He sends this one deep. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Ducks, in talking with them this week, Kirk, is just interesting their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'd be shocked if they can slow him down. He's tackled at the 24. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone by him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. Third and 11. Ball on 24. Quick throw picked off. It's a good play when the corner can break up a pass, but it's even better when he can bring it in for an interception. Quick pass. Tackle made around the 31 yard line. Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. They'll work the right side. Right down, right around the 20. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. They go to the back and he's hit immediately in the backfield. From the 12-yard line, it's second down. big loss on the play, and I think they might want to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps run a screen, maybe hit the tight end on a short pattern. This D-line is just a bit much to handle at this moment. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Fires it up. The five! And he tackles him hard at the one. The offense is staying on the field. It's all or nothing. Here we go. Touchdown, Washington. And he converts the extra point. A nice nine-play, 38-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 7-0. And they can forget about returning this one. Washington's really got things working right now for them. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. Now 
he's scrambling. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Space, we could be talking about six. Let's go. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. About five yards on the quarterback keeper. That makes it second and six. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Call it a gain of five yards. That'll bring up third and inches. Here we go! Rally! Rally! And now he's got room to run. He's at the 20. He's knocked out of bounds at the 16. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 16. There he goes. The 10. Touchdown, Ducks. The extra point to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. Oregon ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. He's level at the 28. They'll bring him down around the 27-yard line. Slings it. And they make the stop at the 34. That's a game of seven. That'll bring up fourth and one. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. We see this offense again after what you, Kirk, call a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. That makes it second and eight. We played one quarter. We're even at seven in this one. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Mike 10. Mike 10, Mike 10. Red hot. He's going to try and scramble. And he is drilled at the 38. That's a game of 16. That makes it first in time. Let's go. Easy, easy, 
He's scrambling. And he's tackled right around the 40. And he's taken down at the 40. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle the 42 yard line. Certainly they don't have the return out here. And this one is a beauty. So this one goes into the end zone and that'll be a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. run to the left there. Second and six. Ball on the 27. That's a great tackle. The 24 yard line. One quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. The misdirection play gets him four yards. 
Oregon's going to use their first time out of the half here. Two minutes left in the half. Washington's going to take their first time out of the half. He's to the 40. Keeps his eye on it. Makes the catch. Coach has loved to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. Ready. From the 19-yard line, first down, another run. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. Nowhere to go on a delay. That makes it second and ten. Ready. Scrambling around. Brought down at the 10-yard line. He's scrambling. <laughs> so it's fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. Kicks up, and it's good. Great game in the works, folks, as we come to the end of the first half. 14-10, Husky. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's it's fun. It's 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 living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. We've got a good, we're like a good game score. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're gonna be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. That's stinky. Yes. Red and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away.
Very close game now as we start the second half. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both teams have really answered the bell here in the third quarter, Kurt. Well, it's exciting to see what these offenses have been able to do here, be able to come out and score in your first drive. Tells you a lot about what they did during the half. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Four down, four down. Hey, look, Washington holds a four-point lead. Down. Cut. And a quick throw. And down he goes at about the 31. He's going to try and scramble. There's a fumble. Picks up the loose ball, and they make the stop, the 26-yard line. From the 26-yard line, it's first down. They come out in a five-wide set. Big play, and it's first and goal. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. To the end zone, intercepted. He just jumped up and snatched that ball. But there, I don't think the quarterback even saw him. The defender went up into the air and made a great catch. From their own 20-yard line, first down. Here's an opening. <laughs> Makes it to the 37. That makes it first and ten. He's into the open field. Gets out to around the 48. They run the option, and it's the tailback who gives them an eight-yard gain on the play. He might have a chance. Makes it out to about the 33. They got to him before he could get back to the line. He's scrambling. And he tackles him hard at the 27. He must not have seen anybody open on that play. Nobody open downfield, but he's got to be careful. I like his toughness, but those kind of hits are going to take a toll on him eventually. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Mike 10. Ready. Mike 10. 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 Make 
takes it out to about the 13. And that'll be a gain of 10 by the running back. Runs through a defender and he's in. Spectacular run by the quarterback. That is such a weapon for your offense. When you have a quarterback who can do things like that, the coach probably loves drawing up plays for this guy. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he hits the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now here comes the offense, and you've got to wonder if that last interception's weighing on the quarterback's mind at all. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. And he's leveled the 34 yard line. Strike to the back, no good. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Four down, four down. Hey, look, 48. And he's tackled at the 43. Six-yard line. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. From the 46-yard line, second down. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 47 yard line. going to try to cough and corner this one. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. Got the corner. He makes his way to about the 32. Oregon has a three-point lead. At the 41 yard line. That's a team of nine on the play. That makes it second and two. Ready! Easy, easy, easy! Buffalo, Buffalo! He makes his way to about the 48. That's a team of 11 on the play. First down. Let's go! Check three, check three. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. From their own 49-yard line, it's second down. Make 
takes it out to about the 39. surge by the defense. They really disrupted the timing on that play and gave them no chance to get the first. And folks, it's neck and neck as we head to the final quarter of play. Oregon's got a three-point lead. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. And it goes out of the end zone for the touchback. So early in the fourth quarter in a very, very tight football game, and the game could hinge on this possession. Around the 31-yard line. Fires it out. Very good tackle in space. That was a huge turnover. Yeah, and it couldn't have come at a better time for this defense. You're trying to come up with a big stop, and now you get the ball back with the lead. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Oregon is up by three. He's on the run. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. That makes it first and goal. He gets out to about the six-yard line. That brings him second and goal. Touchdown, Ducks. Things can get pretty fierce in this territory, but they look totally in control there. And he tacks on the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Misfortune struck as their last drive ended in a fumble. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. pressure. Throws a strike over the middle. And down he goes at the 47-yard line. There's a strike complete. And they push him out around the 50-yard line. And he 
he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. And he is drilled at the 43 yard line. From the 43-yard line, second down. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. This is the eighth play of this drive. Just under three to go in regulation. Makes the catch and look out. And now the ball is loose. He's taken down at the 36-yard line. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Scrambling around. They'll bring him down around the 22-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Check, check. Check, Wants to throw outside. And that one's fallen incomplete. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's on the run. They'll make the sack. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. From the 24-yard line, third down. That's a great tackle at the 34. Great job back-to-back -back plays by the defense. It's tough to go down like that again, but an experienced quarterback like this knows how to come back from such adversity. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. The kick is up, and it's good. You know, I was wondering if he's going to get a chance to kick one of those. We saw him warming up from 60 yards before the game. 24 17, Oregon. Oh, man, he took him down hard. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Just under two minutes in the game. The Huskies will use their first time out of the half. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. A gain of eight on the carry. Washington will have one timeout remaining. The running back gets two on the carry. Big opening. Gains his way to the 23-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That'll make it They're about four yards away here on second down. Four down, four down. Tins the mic. Tins the mic. Ready. Fly 50. Fly 50. The 10. And that sets them up with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. 
Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. And so that's going to do it. The Ducks come out on top. 24-17. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action of this one? Oh, this was a great football game, and these kids will remember this game for a long time. Washington played a great game out there, but I think they were a little bit outmanned. They're a good team, though. They'll bounce back from this. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.